I'm actually here tonight to help promote my latest book, Everything I Ever Learned About Women by Tommy Torres. It's a very easy read. It's one page. It's blank. I got nothing. <laughs> nothing. Because we all know, guys, men and women come from two completely different schools of thought. A guy and a girl can walk through them all together. A girl can see a blouse on display. She goes, I like the cut, like the color, like the style, like the way it's accessorized. It's on sale. I'm taking it home. Boom. A guy can look at that same display and go, the mannequin's got nice tits. <laughs> ladies. We are simple folk. You ask us what we're thinking, we say nothing. We mean nothing. We ask the ladies what they're thinking, they say nothing. Bullshit. We know it's something. We don't know what it is yet, but we know it's a fucking argument we're about to lose. Right? Especially if they're hormonal. You know, guys, those few special days of the month where all we want to do is throw you a chocolate hand grenade and not like hell for about four days. So as a man, how do we handle this? Gentlemen, don't say anything. Start cleaning the house. Buy them flowers. Buy them a card. They like cards. I have walked Hallmark as a good man five miles in Hallmark looking for a PMS card. It does not exist. And do not get them a get well soon card either. <laughs> that chill just piss them off. <laughs> right? And guys, let me tell you something right now. God forbid they want to go shopping with you during that time. Bad news. I'd rather get my nuts waxed than go shopping with a woman during that time. Because I've been married and divorced twice, girls, I can look you all in the eye and tell you this equation is true. You mix PMS and a good shoe sale? <laughs> Buckle up. She knows. Buckle up, girls, and here's why. Because gentlemen, they will come home with every fucking pair. <laughs> Of heels, flats, pumps, mules, mucklucks, wedges, espadrilles, open toes, strappy sandals, slingbacks, stilettos, crocs, flip flops, ferragamos, rockin' republics, manola blinds, uggs, lugs, and all the Jimmy Choo's she can carry out. She just had an orgasm. And I think I just described some closets. And the rest of the women in this room are looking at me going, how does he know that shit? <laughs> 42 years old, divorced twice, man of experience, right here. I have funded a small country with the amount of money I have spent on shoes for women. <laughs> right? Divorced twice, I've been divorced. Anybody else in here divorced besides me? <laughs> My people! The broke fuckers. <laughs> Yes, I did it twice. I was not happy with the beating I took the first time. No. First one wasn't so bad, got married too young, split the difference, called it a day. Second one, I hate that bitch. I hate that bitch. When she dies, I'm going to load my ass up full of Taco Bell the day before, drink a gallon of coffee that morning, and drop a chalupa right in the hall. I'm gonna give her back some of the shit she gave me, damn it. When she dies, I hope she dies in a plane crash over the Arctic Ocean. So she can burn, drown, and freeze to death all in the same fucking time. <laughs> Saw a picture of her in the paper the other day. Apparently she won some kind of an award, best in show. <laughs> Hell yes. That's right. See, all the girls are leaving now. I'll get them back. Don't worry. I like how they all go to the bathroom in packs. You notice that? That's so they can look at me up on the internet and be like, he's an asshole. Either that or they're going to hold each other up while they pee because their delicate coochie's not hitting that fucking toilet seat. You know that. Amen. But I did it twice. I did it twice. For all you number crunchers out there, that is broke squared. <laughs> Compound broke. I got ramen noodles on layaway. <laughs> I got little 
children in Africa sending me chains. <laughs> For only 22 cents a day, you can help a stupid American.